All right, guys, I uh, thought we fought hard. I thought we battled for four quarters. I thought in the beginning of the game we had some opportunities um, that we didn't capitalize on, some throws and catches that uh, would have gave us some points. Against a team like this, you have to be able to capitalize on those. I thought there was entirely too many uh, uh, drops. Um, you know, we had 344 yards of offense. They had 431. They just, you know, it was a, not, not, not a big, big difference against that kind of defense. Um, I thought our third down conversion ratio was poor. Um, once again, that seems to be the thing that uh, is tugging on us, you know, the ability for us to get going and move the chains enough times. And uh, that wasn't good enough, our third down conversion. So missed opportunities early, our third down conversions. Uh, I thought we played tough. I thought we played physical. I thought we were aggressive on offense. I thought we took our shots even through the end. We, we, we emptied the, the chamber of, the, uh, of some special plays that we, we had been working on and put in. And uh, I thought we played wide open. I thought we managed all that well. Um, I just think it came down to missed opportunities that were there for the taking in the first half. Um, missed field goal, high snap, a couple of those kind of things on defense. I thought we uh, played really well. I thought we played good red zone defense. I thought, you know, there, you know, we were pinned down in there. Field, third quarter field position was just abysmal, and and and, and the way the defense handled that and and and, and, tr and tried to battle, I thought was was excellent. You know, turning around basically three points and three of those consecutive series until finally we were able to pop one out of there and shift the field position. So I think the third down was a field position deal. I mean, I'm sorry, the third quarter was a field position deal. I thought the first two quarters, we had a couple of big opportunities we missed. I thought we were battling in the fourth quarter. I thought we did a lot of good things. I, I see a lot of our guys that are, that are, that are new in there that are, you know, you can, you can watch them growing in front of our eyes. And uh, I think drawn from playing three top 25 teams and drawn some good experience and some, some confidence out of there. And we just got to keep developing and keep getting better and, and keep battling. And, and, and that's what we will do because this is a group of guys that, that uh, really loves football, loves playing together. And uh, I think uh, uh, really, you know, are excited about continuing to develop and grow. With that, I'll take any questions. Sam, just raise your hand. We'll get the microphone to you. As you mentioned, the third down conversion rate. Yep. We weren't happy about that. Between execution or game plan, what about it do you, are you not liking? Yeah. And well, no, I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with the game plan now. Those are, those are, we got a lot of open receivers, okay? We had a lot of drops. We had some overthrows and some drops. And then we had a couple times we didn't snap the ball on the, you know, we snapped the ball not on the, not on the, on the cadence. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's executional. But open, yeah, guys are open. I mean, you, you can see that. Anybody can see that watching. So that's, you know, I think there's plenty of, that, that's, that's the frustrating part. There's open guys. I think we're, they're in good situations. We just got to make those plays, whether it be the, whether it be the, uh, the, the, the uh, throw catch operation. You know, we have a couple offsides that we're, you know, we're, we're, we're not we're not in sync on the cadence. Um, but I think schematically, um, I I thought excellent actually. Um, I mean, there was some. There was a couple times in the first half there were guys open everywhere. I mean, you know, we fell down one time. We didn't finish a route one time. I mean, there's a lot of that going on right now. And uh, you know, we just got to get. We just got to grow and get better there, uh, which we will. You know. That being said, no turnovers. I'm not sure uh, sack wise. I don't have that handy right now. Doing a good job with that, and uh, I, thought, I thought Anthony ran the ball a little bit. We had a couple of called called quarterback reads. A couple of, he pulled it down more decisively and got yardage on third down. I think that was a huge improvement. I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right, uh, Steve, you mentioned the fourth and two. Yeah. Uh, in the red zone. Yes. The stop. Zach's huge night. Yes. Um, I mean, obviously, Harold gets a lot of attention. Yep. Has all year, but the play of Zach tonight. You, you guys have yeah. seen that all year. What, what's the Stood stood out to you. You know, he's just so versatile. You know, he's a power guy. He's, he's big and strong and athletic, and, and his versatility shows his ability to make athletic, physical plays. He's a big time player, and uh, 
he, I thought he did a great job tonight. You know, and Harold made some big time plays. I mean, there were places. I think the one thing we need to do a better job tonight was tackling early on, especially we were hitting and not wrapping and finishing. You know, and that cost us field position early. You know, that field position is so darn critical. When you're playing this kind of defense, it's hard enough. You know, but you start operating with poor field position. So, and that's where we, you know, we weren't getting enough cracks. You know, with good field position, and we did on that pick early, and we had that touchdown ball right there. We, we worked on that all week long. I mean, there was no doubt we were going to that call, and it was right there. You know, we didn't convert it. We didn't make it. Hey, Coach, it seemed like time and time again, Josh Jackson was attacking the middle of the field. Is that a matter of the zone defense or just him seeing different things? That were they were running a bunch of RPOs. They're run pass options off of different styles of runs. And, um, you know, just the, the RPO world is uh, – can be challenging, you know, if you, you know, the, you know, one of the ways is, is getting straight man, but, you know, we don't want to get in continual straight man. So you, you're trying to mix it up. I thought they hit a few of them early, you know, but I thought overall we kind of sealed that up. I thought we, I think they were having a really hard time running the football. I mean, we ran for 153 against their defense. They ran for 109. Okay, that's the stats that I have, okay? Um, like I said, they had 431 of offense. We had 344. Um, and that's with miserable field position in the third quarter. So, you know, statistically, I think the biggest stat that sticks out to me right now is uh, third down conversions, as we talked about, and, 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 and covered. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, Steve, I thought in the first half, uh, you're actually your uh, punting team did a really good job in yeah. coverage, really good tackling yes. uh, to kind of flip the field a couple of times. What right. did you think of the special teams tackling in the play tonight? Um, I think the coverage was fantastic. I thought I'm, two things disappointed me tonight. Um, you know, obviously the missed field goal bothered me. We made one, but we missed one early. You know, so we really came off no points off of that. Um, and then there, 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 there was, we had two snap issues. One on a punt, one on a field goal, okay? And then just a, um, uh, an error in communication on one of the punts coming out of the end zone there where we, they actually fumbled it and we didn't recover. But had we, we had a penalty because, you know, of a miscommunication that I've, is never, I've never seen happen before. And uh, so that was disappointing. But our coverage was outstanding. Um, it has been. It's not a new phenomena. Um, I would have liked to have seen us get some more punt return yards. I think we, 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 we could have. I thought we just need to do just a little bit better job on gunner control. There was a couple there, I thought. And in, in the very, very end, I think as you get experience, you know, when, you're, when the clock is winding down towards the end of the game, you, 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 you know, you want to take daring chances and go get that thing. So. You know, those are all learning experience things that we can work on and grow with. Yep. No, I don't. I'm other than what you saw. It appears as though he tweaked his ankle. To what degree, I just don't know, and uh, probably won't know until tomorrow. I, I would think. Fourth and two call. Yeah. Steve to go for it. Um, yeah. In their territory, not to kick the field goal. You're. Right. process there yeah I mean it's a little bit out of our range there and it's fourth and two and we were wide open and we thought we had the right call and um, you know you're playing tech I just felt like that was the right aggressive thing to do right there and um, we just didn't op there's an example of what I'm talking about you know we didn't operate the throw and catch right there I mean I don't think there was anybody within four yards of Tom Sweeney. But uh, couldn't get our hips around and, and get it out in time and just didn't happen. So, you know, uh, but no, I mean, I, I feel like that was the right thing to do, and I, I still do. Um, you know, I thought that we, we wanted to go into that game and stay aggressive, and we stayed aggressive in that game. And, um, you know, wish we could have made a few more of those plays. All the difference in the world. That's one of them. The touchdown pass we dropped is another one of them. There's about three of them. And when you play a team like that, quite frankly, it's about what it comes down to. It's usually about anywhere between three and four of those things. And, uh, and you got to make them. 
you got to make them. And, 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 and we will. We will. You know, we got to grow a little bit more. Some of the guys involved in the operation of those are still young guys, but I'll tell you what, I watched some of those guys growing up before my eyes a little bit out that field today, and that's, 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 uh, that's exciting. Let's make one final question in the back row. Coach, it's been a consistent theme about the lack of execution and the drops just killing promising drives, resulting in those drives ending without putting up any points. How do you get this team to the level where that's no longer an issue and players are making those plays? Well, you know, listen, I'm, I'm not going to get into the – let me say it the best way I can, okay? I love our team. I'm not going to get into breaking down – I got to do a better job. Let's leave it like that, Okay. Let's just leave it like that. So I got, we got to go back to work, and I got to, I got to coach them better. I got to coach them harder, and we're going to keep growing. And the reality of it is that's all going to come together. We have played three top 25 teams, okay? We're playing really good football teams right now, and we're playing really physical, really aggressive, and we got some guys spilling it. That's what this team is doing right now, and I love them, and I love them. And they're going to get better, and they're going to grow. It's sometimes it's never on exactly the timetable that we want it on. But the level of competition that we're playing against while we develop these guys, okay? And so I'll just say that I'll continue on my part to make sure I'm doing a better job in the race of development here, and we're going to leave it right there because I'm in charge of it. And, uh, and I love them. And I love their work ethic, and I love the way they handle it. And I love the fact that they believe in each other, okay? I love all that. I've been around this business long enough, fellas, okay, at every level. And I've seen it a long time. It'll come together, and it'll be beautiful. You can write that one down, okay? I don't have the time clock on it right here, but it'll come together, and it'll be beautiful, all right? And the investment is worth it. So I'm excited about the investment. We just keep rolling.